other, Carl Walton told me that was a parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I would like to ask a question if I may. Uh, Mr. Denny, the, uh, coming up tonight there's a resolution for the new billing system, I think $30,000 or something. My question is, I'm, would I be correct in that's going to be like a yearly, is that going to be $30,000 a yearly? Or is that like you buy a billing system and it's yours and there's no it's upkeep? A Okay, we're not paying anything up front. Okay, uh, the story in the paper, I know one of the county commissioners had a problem with us outsourcing or basically buying or purchasing 
someone else to do some work that we could do ourselves. My question is, are we going to be terminating any employees of Warren County? Uh, not to my knowledge, not right now. Not okay. Okay, that's that was my question. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir. Anybody else want to speak to them? On what, first of all, on what he asked, um, the only thing that this outsourcing is going to do, they're going to do the coding. They've got six people that does nothing but coding. Coding is pretty complicated and it changes yours. Mm -hmm. They, they, they said, but in our committee meeting, the thing is, is is the ladies are going to do everything else. We're going to use their program. The program we have is not working efficiently. We're having problems with it, and we're spending 14000 a year on it. Yeah, Correct? By the time you do the maintenance and everything, yeah. this company will furnish all the computers. They will do the coding. The ladies will still do the other things. But because they're coding it more correctly, mm -hmm. We'll be getting more income, and they're only going to get a percentage of what they increase us. Correct. Thank you, Carl. Anybody else want to speak to them? Hey, um, I would like to say, Carl, I appreciate you clarifying that because I was. Like I said, when one county commissioner voted against it, I wondered why, because it sounded like a really good deal. That, and I, I appreciate you explaining that for me and the other people. Thank you. Anybody else want to speak? All in favor say aye. Aye. Most of my class. Motion passes. Thank you, President. Thank you. Industrial development forward, Mr. Alexander. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen of the Commission, I think you have my report in front of you. If there are any questions that I might answer, I'm going to be sure. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Bond. Second. Second. By Commissioner Ray. Anybody want to speak to the motion? All in favor say aye. Uh, All opposed likewise. Motion passes. Thank you, Don. Thank you. We'll move right on into our committee reports and uh, first on the list is budget and finance, Commissioner Bailey. Mr. Chairman, all I have is I'd love to remind all the chairman it's time for you to go to having meetings on our budgets and beginning get them ready for budget finance. Thank you. Thank you. Buildings and rentals, uh, Commissioner Carl Lee Bolden. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, only thing I'd like to say is we got the bids back on the courthouse uh, work up there that the uh, county is going to do, and on this building too, the painting on this building, they come in at a real good price, so that should be starting in about 30 to 45 days. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Economic and agriculture, uh, Rob Lee's not here. Who's on? Wayne? Oh, another report from the world. Thank you, Commissioner. Education, Ms. Starkey. Education Committee has nothing to report this time. Thank you. Financial management, uh, Ms. Lundmeter. Uh, yes, the proposed budgetary calendar is uh, included in your packet today, and um, we needed this included to spread upon the minutes for the court meeting. As Mr. Bell said, currently, right now we're just waiting for uh, budget proposals to come in from different budgetary offices. Thank you. Health and welfare, Mr. Martin, Michael Martin. We have none to report at this time, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Highway and Bridge, Mr. Brader. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, during the bad weather, we used about 300 tons of salt, and we've got everything restocked right now. In April or May, we haven't picked a day yet, but we're going to be selling quite a bit of surplus equipment. So, if anybody you know wants to go out and take a look at it a little later on, see if they might be interested in. Just as soon as we get the date, we will post it in the paper, and I will give you a date at our next meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Policy and Personnel, Commissioner Ken Martin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Policy and Personnel has been reported this time. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bowen. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, sir. Our special committee reports, first on the list, is the Audit Committee Chairman, and then Mr. Wayne Capital. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Commissioners. Uh, we met 
with the representatives of the Department of Local Government Audit. They issued a very good audit report for the county. The only thing that was stated was a finding from the investigative report that's been corrected uh, some time ago. So it's a very good report, and we would like to extend our appreciation to all the department for such a good report. Thank you. Thank you, Wayne. County Correction and Partnership Committee, Mr. Commissioner Bond. Mr. Chairman, this time we have a report. Thank you. Redistricting Commissioner Michael Martin. Stormer has a report at this time. Thank you, sir. We have no old business. We'll go into our new business. The first item is uh, Commissioner Bailey. Mr. Chairman, this is resolution number 3 2016, a resolution to rescind. Resolution number 2 of 2016, adopted February 15, 2016. The Ward County Commission adopted resolution number 2 2016 on February 15, 2016. That resolution made the provision for a county match of 3% in conjunction with a community development block grant purpose by Centertown. The project scope included construction of an emergency services building to be used jointly by Centertown Fire Department and Warren County Animal Services. Project cost of this project exceed the amount of funds available to Centertown at this time. It come through budget finance and financial management and passed both those unanimously. And I so love it. I have a motion second by Commissioner Bond. Anybody want to speak to the motion? Yes. 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 Tommy Yes. 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 The uh, Health and Welfare Committee met on Tuesday, February 23rd, to discuss animal control and the animal control budget. During this meeting, the vote on a motion to change the name of the animal control building resulted in a two to two tie. A subsequent motion for the name change to go before the full commission passed 4 to 0. The resolution was drafted from information submitted by Commissioner Blaine Wilcher and was approved by the County Attorney's Office. And I'll read the resolution. A resolution to designate the Warren County Animal Control Facility as the Warren County Animal Control and Adoption Center, whereas the legislative body of Warren County, Tennessee, adopted resolution number three on October 17, 2005, through which the Warren County Animal Control Facility was created, and whereas conditions at the facility have improved in several ways since the inception of this department, and whereas the facility is maintained to the highest standards for cleanliness and general care of animals on site, and whereas the adoption rate for 2015 was 83%, with only 51 animals euthanized out of 856 taken in, and whereas public image and community support is better than ever before, and whereas the mandatory spay and neuter policy implemented by Warren County Animal Control regarding animals processed through this facility has now been implemented by the city of McNimble, and whereas Adding adoption to the facility name will more accurately represent the positive effect this department is having in Warren County. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the legislative body of Warren County, Tennessee, meeting in regular session on this, the 21st day of March 2016, in McMinnville, Warren County, Tennessee, as follows. Section 1, that the Warren County Animal Control Facility be hereby designated as the Warren County Animal Control and Adoption Center, and section two, that this resolution shall become effective upon its adoption, the welfare of the county requiring it. I'm so moved. Second. 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 Second.
Christ to say. There is not about 800 sick salmon every week. Take 800 sick salmon out of the county. Somebody else can't pick them up. We, we adopted probably 25% of that, and the rest went out to rescue. We didn't have to euthanize the animals. Uh, I'm trying to get where you got the 83% spot. I presented that at a meeting a couple of meetings ago. Okay. We've got a motion and a second. Anybody else want to speak to the motion? Yes. Because of past and recent actions, inactions, and statements that have been counterproductive, I motion that we consider Resolution 5-2016 resolution is as follows. A resolution to amend the order of procedure and docket of the regularly scheduled meetings of the Warren County Commission to include a period of public comment. Whereas the Warren County Commission of Warren County, Tennessee meets in regularly scheduled monthly meetings and whereas Commissioner Michael Shane Wilcher has recommended the incorporation of a period of time at each of the regularly scheduled meetings of the Warren County Commission for the purpose of public comment by the visitors to the meeting. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the legislative body of Warren County, Tennessee, as follows. Section 1, that the Warren County, Tennessee Commission amends the structure of the order of procedure and docket for the regularly scheduled meetings of Warren County Commission to include a period of time for public comment and section two that this period of time for public comment shall appear on the docket just after reading of the minutes and just prior to the elected official reports departmental reports in every monthly regularly scheduled meeting of the Warren County Commission and section three that this period of time shall be for the specific purpose of public comment Section 4 and Section 4, that the section shall be henceforth listed upon the regular docket as public comment and Section 5, that this resolution shall take effect from and after the date of its passage, the welfare of the county requiring it. Thank you. Second. I motioned the very first sentence. Thank you. Got a second. Got a motion by Michael Shane Wilcher. Second by Commissioner Miller. Anybody want to speak to the motion? I um, want to make a motion to amend his resolution okay. and um, with the following changes. Can I read them? Yes. On paragraph four, section one, I recommend to add the following. And the period of time will be limited to no more than five minutes per visitor. Every visitor will be allowed to address the full commission by first identifying him or herself, by stating their first and last name and the address of residence prior to speaking. On paragraph 5, section 2, to read as, that this period of time for public comment shall appear on the docket just after roll call and just prior to the adoption of docket in every monthly, regularly scheduled meeting for the Warren County Commission. And I'm so moved. I have a motion to a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Miller. 
Anybody else want to speak to the motion? I'd like to make a comment on why I suggested this. First, I, I want to say for 25 years I worked as a department head for the city of McMinnville. And all 25 years um, on our um, agenda every night was a time for visitors. The, the, the five minutes was absolutely sufficient. We never had any problems that was not handled by the mayor um, of the city of McMinnville. Um, in five minutes, you can say a whole lot of information. Organized people that came to speak to this board usually came with a packet of information that they wanted and passed it out. They stated what their uh, um, reason for speaking was. And most of the time, it had to be referred to a committee. But their voice was heard, and it was um, presented to the media. The second thing about it here, about stating that um, where I located it, was because I think it should be up here before accepting the docket. It would be very rare that a person would come up here and address this commission with a um, recommended, with a comment that would be addressed that evening. But just in case it was, it could be added to the docket at that time. Anybody else want to speak to the motion? Okay. Mr. Chairman, yes. at the first meeting of the year, the ground rules were laid out that only commissioners would only have two minutes to speak. Right. Thank you, sir. Anybody else want to speak to the motion? Well, what I'm concerned about, I've got a question for you. You're not going to let me how many people speak. If we have 100 show up, do they all get five minutes? We can amend my amendment. Uh, we can amend my amendment. Can you? Can you? I would, I, I would think that you would probably want to say that, so go ahead and add that into it, and I can make that amendment. I can adjust that to saving a maximum of 30 minutes to be allowed. 30 minutes is a long time. Yeah. It's too long. Are you talking about for the entire? Yeah. For the entire for the time for the visitors to speak, you could go. But 30 minutes. Call the Mr. Chairman, we are going to have to come up with some restrictions there. And, you know, my guess is if there's a large organization which the people are representing the, the animal shelter, they should have a designated person to, to speak for them. And then um, maybe I could see the five minutes. But as far as letting each individual have five minutes, 
uh, I, can't, I can't see that, but we do need to make some kind of an adjustment to this tonight before we leave here. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman? Yes, go ahead, Commissioner. I'd love to offer an amendment to try to solve both of these issues. I'm not against anybody talking, but we have to have some rules and procedures. And Vince, this didn't come through any of That's the reason we have a committee system, for you to go through our committees and us to study about things that will happen. But the amendment I'd love to offer would be for us to allow two minutes and allow up to 10 minutes total time but those individuals need to need to report to our county executive's office and put their name on the docket and the topic that they will be discussing so that everybody in the public and this county court knows what they're going to be talking about when they come here. Is that a form of motion? Yes, that's a form of motion. Right, uh, Boyd, anybody want to speak to the motion? Yes, Commissioner. Mr. Chairman, I think that the, I agree with Commissioner Bell, but I think that will be limited to speaking on the issues and not personal attacks. That's the way it Thank you, be. sir. Yes. Anybody else want to speak? Yes, Mr. Chairman, we will get this with our family. Yes. Call for a vote. Call for a vote. Call for a vote, please. I saw no amendment now. Yes. Morris Clark? Yes. Mr. Chairman, I would like to speak to it. The only reason I voted no was because often, very often, we amend dockets to add something to our meeting 30 minutes before. And people show up sometimes expecting that. They have no way of commenting that night when we add something 30 minutes before this full county commission meeting when they're supposed to have their name in and what they're going to say 10 days before. That's why I voted no. Thank you. Anybody else want to speak to the main, main motion? Yes. One, one other thing that the public should know too is there are other ways of talking to the county commissioners. We've all been elected by our constituents. They can email us, they can call us, they can let us know their point of view, and we can pass it along. Also, each, each one of us is in different committees. That is really the best time to come and address the subjects you want to talk about. And if I'm a, if I'm correct, all the chairmen are to let the people talk and not right. make it correct. Right. So they have other yeah. avenues to talk to us. Thank you. Anybody else want to speak to them? Call them up, please. Terry Bell. Yes. 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 Randy Yes. Mary Martin. Yes. Ken Martin. Yes. Ken Martin. Yes. Michael Martin. Yes. Carolyn Miller. Yes. Carol Morgan. Yes. Gary Trader. Yes. David Ray. Yes. Kenny Roberts. 
Yes. 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 Mr. Chairman, because of past and recent actions, inactions, and statements that have been counterproductive, I motion that we consider Resolution 6-2016. Resolution is as follows. A resolution to remove Commissioner Michael Martin from his position as Chairman of the Health and Welfare Committee. Whereas the Health and Welfare Committee of the Warren County Commission is chaired by Commissioner Michael Martin, and whereas Commissioner Michael Shane Wilcher has made requests for the removal of Chairman Michael Martin from his position as Chairperson of the Health and Welfare Committee. Now therefore, be it resolved by the legislative body of Warren County, Tennessee as follows. Section 1, that, the, that Commissioner Michael Martin is hereby immediately removed from his position as Chairman of the Health and Welfare Committee of the Warren County Commission. And Section 2, that Commissioner Michael Martin shall remain a sitting member of the Health and Welfare Committee of the Warren County Commission and Section 3, that the most senior member of the Health and Welfare Committee shall act as interim chair until such time that the county executive has appointed a replacement chairperson. Section 4, that the county executive shall have 45 days from the passage of this resolution to appoint a new chair of the Health and Welfare Committee of the Warren County Commission and Section 5, that the County Commission shall have 45 days from the time of the County Executive's appointment within which to vote to approve the new Chair of the Health and Welfare Committee of the Warren County Commission. And Section 6, that this resolution shall take effect from and after the date of its passage the welfare of the County requiring it. Thank you, sir. That was my first sentence. I motion that we consider Resolution 2-2016. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, this is uh, the Warren School School <coughs> Purpose Fund 141 Budget Amendment Number One. The tax budget amendment is in the amount of $870,000, which was originally approved by the school board to provide funds for the school system portion necessary for completion of the Urban College, Bobby Gray, Warren County High School Wellness Center projects. The, amend the amendment was passed by the Education Committee, Financial Management, and Budget Finance, and I so vote. Yes. 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 Yes.
Yes. Ian Martin? Yes. Michael Martin? Yes. Carol Miller? Yes. Yes. Gary Slater? Yes. David Ray? Yes. Yes. Gary Roberts? Yes. Scott Ridley? Yes. Tommy Parrish? Yes. Diane Stark? Yes. Mike Wilcher? Yes. 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 Yes.
version of the uh, Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and they talk about it. They used to go through the Yeah, talk about how bad he is. And then they get up here and they don't have the cojones to my problems. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. I did what the people told me to do. And that's, that's all I can do. Yeah. And I have video nowadays. I'm keeping so much video. I'll be ready for people who want to run in any district come 2018. I'll be able to supply them with video of everybody and their votes and everything. So, but thank you. Shelter, and be the one to put the needed sheets that are there. Been there, done it. I understand. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Well, I, I appreciate that y'all have a lot of experience to draw on. First time we go down the middle, I was confused. Some people don't. I raised my hand and they'd already started to vote, so I didn't even know what they were voting on the first time. But like I say, I don't have a problem with people speaking. People are still going over. What Terry said is.